Hello, my name is Brian M. Wargo, and I teach physics at Freedom Area High School. And for those of you that are not acquainted with physics, uh, think of it as being the confluence of, of mathematics, engineering, and science, all packaged around uh, scientific practice. If you're thinking about becoming a scientist, you really need to take this class. If you're thinking about becoming an engineer, you must take this class. And if you're thinking about going into the trades, I would highly, highly recommend that you take this class. Um, we blend the intellectual and the mechanical and learn how to think critically. Um, a lot of you are probably thinking of going in the, uh, to the Votech Center. I would recommend staying at Freedom. Our graduates that end up going through our physics courses end up being head and shoulders above those that are going to that uh, Votech Center. If you look at Michael Keith, if you look at um, Hartle, those young men are actually teaching over at CCBC in the uh, technology programs. Not because they want to Votech, because they didn't. They ended up taking Physics 1 and Physics 2. And then there's also Physics 3, which is electricity and magnetism. Again, don't take my word for it. Ask them. Uh, every one of our students that takes a physics course investigates nature in something that they're interested in, um, and then they're going to present at the science conference. This is a, a major component of all of the physics classes, and I encourage you to look at www.scicon.hs.org, uh, www.scicon.hs.org, and look at much of the work that our physics students have produced. Uh, just to, to let you know, I give anonymous surveys every year for the last 25 years, and I'm consistently rated about 8, 9, sometimes higher than 9 out of 10 in terms of overall best class. So uh, please consider that when you're looking at this. The one criticism that a lot of students make is that they take physics one their senior year. And that's a like an error in that you can't take physics two or physics three. So don't wait till your senior year. And again, um, physics two will be a continuation of what we do in physics one. We get more into space, rotational uh, objects, and physics three is going to be all about electricity and magnetism. So I encourage you to find a friend who has had physics one, two, or three and talk to them about it. I think you'll see why you should take the course. Thank you, and if you have any questions, let me know.